Okay guys, this is part three of the rear posting of my front seats on my 65 Mustang Fastback. Uh, I spent all day uh, getting rid of the surface rust on the, the frames and the adjuster mechanism to make the seat go forward and backwards. Uh, basically what I did is I just kind of sanded down all the surface rust I could uh, and then what I also did is uh, I applied some uh, primer. Let me see if I have it over here. Here it is right here. It's uh, Duplicolor Rust Fix. And I basically sprayed this on just to kind of turn the rust into like a black primer. Uh, the main concern I had was in this area here where the adjusters go underneath up in here where my fingers are that was pretty rusty i spent a lot of time sanding that down cleaning it out and sprayed that in there it, it turned you know black so is it gonna stop the rust no but as long as <laughs> as old as i am and as long as i'm gonna own this car it'll be good enough so after i did that uh then i went ahead and put some automotive primer on it primed all the pieces and then I use this uh, semi-gloss black uh, for the actual frame itself. So that's what I did. I've got it drying right now. Uh, I'm going to let it dry all week. And then next weekend, hopefully, I'll be able to start putting the upholstery on it. So and what I'm going to do here is I have some burlap right here, which I went and got at Joann's. And I got some other fabric here to actually go right here is where the burlap's going to go on the other side i got some of this upholstery adhesive right here which i'm just going to spray it on there and kind of uh you know just put some put some more burlap there just to kind of help support it i don't want these springs which you can see here digging into the new foam piece which is right here now this is a new foam piece and they do put I don't know what you would even call that, but they do put something down here to kind of help protect it, but it's not going to throw it off that much to put some more on there. And then this white, which I got right here, is to go around the actual frame. So if you look right there with that light shining, you can see this metal right here, that metal. That's the frame, so I'm going to use that white stuff and I'm gonna run it all around there and I'm gonna hog ring it in there. And what that does is it protects this metal from chewing through the sides of your foam piece right here. And that's how they did it in the factory. There's still some good material on there. So I might just kind of spot patch it wherever I think it's gonna need it. And then that will help protect that foam and it's not going to throw it on when I put the new cover on. I'll just pull the cover and it'll flatten out and it'll, it'll be real nice. So, But uh, that's it. So this is part three. Uh, these are basically the products that I'm using. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos.